Ryan and Mark Williams could not have imagined baby Christopher's first day of life would be so tough. You're so overwhelmed and you, you have this plan of how you think it's all going to go. Ryan gave birth to Christopher via C-section four weeks early. Christopher immediately had trouble breathing. He was breathing so fast he was barely moving because you could just tell he was just working so hard to breathe that nothing else really mattered. Born at a local community hospital, the pediatricians there worked to help Christopher breathe. You just watching this little kid who's the size of your hand. It was literally like a <laughs> You're faced with all these decisions that you're asked to make on the spot and you don't really have any other options because all you want to make sure is that the, you know your baby's okay. It was scary. As hours passed and Christopher continued to struggle breathing, it became clear to pediatricians Christopher needed a higher level of expertise and care. Ryan and Mark knew one thing, they wanted to stay close to home. We heard about some friends and family who have had situations like this where all of a sudden they did get shipped to San Francisco. And I kind of said, well, why not, what's wrong with Salinas Valley? Do they have a specialty? And they go, oh yeah, they do. They have, you know, uh, they're level three neonatal. And I said, well, they're close. Can we start there? Christopher's pediatrician called neonatologist Dr. Gregory Glasscock at Salinas Valley Memorial. Was, was able to offer some suggestions for her for further testing, which actually proved to be important in helping us figure out what to do next. In the process of working hard to breathe, this baby's left lung did collapse. It's called a pneumothorax, and that is a medical emergency. Dr. Glasscock drove straight to baby Christopher along with Salinas Valley Memorial's Level 3 Neonatal Intensive Care Unit's transport team and ambulance. We took appropriate steps to re-expand the lung. I put a chest tube into the baby's left uh, chest. Dr. Glasscock, I mean, it was perfect, I would say. He just had a presence that made everybody relax and it was really comforting. It's vital. It's vital to I think to the optimal care in Monterey County to have a readily accessible neonatologist, neonatal team to be able to be on call and to arrive quickly. He needed to be transported with a ventilator. He needed all these specialists with him. The isolate that we have is essentially a traveling NICU. It has uh, a ventilator. It has ways to control the baby's temperature, uh, special pumps for IVs. That's incredible technology that's developed, and we have that. Everything baby Christopher needed, including the NICU transport team of a NICU nurse and respiratory therapist to make sure the trip to Salinas Valley Memorial was a seamless one. felt like everyone just had great communication and everyone kind of had the same goal in mind. Oh, it, it is a huge factor in what saved his life. I think everyone came away from that experience at both hospitals feeling like this was really excellent community synchronization of efforts. So we were able to do a very timely intervention. Uh, the baby responded very favorably and it was very gratifying. My son's here today because the right medicine worked for the, for, at the right time with the right people and I think it's what medicine's about, so I, I appreciate their, all their efforts and their help. Now he's just normal and he cries and screams and has a great set of lungs on him. He's good. He's a healthy, happy little baby. He saved his life, so we are forever thankful. There's nothing more than a heartfelt thank you.